Hey guys, how you doing? So I want to talk about the MERN stack myth. So the MERN stack is short for MongoDB Express React and Node. So the big myth that's propagated by people out there, young nerdlings, is that because it's all JavaScript, somehow it's going to make your life so much easier. Heaven forbid that you should have to use more than one programming language in a job. This is very silly stuff. This is very silly stuff. I am pretty sure that those who are putting out that idea that somehow you should choose the MERN stack because you're only, you're only going to be writing in JavaScript as opposed, I don't know, maybe you use uh, the Django framework where you use Python in the back end and use JavaScript in the front end, or you're doing Java where you have JavaScript on the front end and Java on the back end, et cetera, et cetera, PHP. This is a ridiculous argument because the complexity in developing apps is not the language that you use. And in fact, for you to pivot from JavaScript to PHP, pretty simple. From JavaScript to Python, pretty simple, you know, et cetera, and so on. This is not the bottleneck. So to make a decision about whether to choose the MERN stack or the LAMP stack or whatever stack you want to choose based on whether or not you have to learn a second programming language is frankly a position taken by nerdlings who obviously have not worked in the real world. If somebody ever tells you, yes, you should learn to MERN because you're only using one programming language, I can almost guarantee you that they have no real world experience whatsoever. So don't fall for that myth. This is not relevant in the decision-making process in terms of what stack you're going to choose to build your web apps. They all have their pros and cons. So Mern's good in certain things. Uh, PHP Laravel is good in certain things. Python Django is pretty good in certain things. Flask or Python Flask, etc. You know, don't get caught up in that. You choose a, a stack for a bunch of different reasons. And the reason that you would never choose a stack is because you're using just one language and that will make your life so much easier. This is a, a, an argument out of ignorance. Anyway, I'm hoping to save you guys a little bit of time. Choose your stack, and Mern's a good stack. Why not use it? Choose your stack, though, based on the needs of the job. To me, the, big, the biggest problem with Mern is that you're going to be using a NoSQL database, MongoDB, that is a good database for certain types of work, but I would argue that for most web app development needs, you're going to be using a relational database because most web apps have complex relationships in the data that you're storing and tracking and delivering and massaging. And uh, that's why relational databases were invented, to handle relationships between different databases. If you don't know, a relational database is a, another is a proper term for a an SQL based database. SQL is of course the language, the universal language of relational databases. SQL is short for structured query language. So anyhow, yeah, MongoDB is a popular document based database. Works well if you have a very flat. Uh, database to create or to manage, meaning not too many relationships between the data points, the data that you're storing, then that's an obvious solution that uh, should be explored. But again, when choosing the stack that you're going to choose, you have to look at the, uh, the current business you're working, you're working at, what kind of installation do they have. You got to look at the details about the project in terms of the app, what, you know, certain apps will require certain capability, and certain frameworks might be better than the other, given that, that particular capability you need to implement. I hope that's useful. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. I have a mentoring program. Check it out at UncleSteph.com. I also have courses where you can learn on your own. Fantastic as well. Yeah, check out my stuff if you're interested. If you have any questions, any comments, if you disagree with me, post them in the comments below. We'll have a conversation. We'll see what's up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.